So today we are going to do a review of the MacBook Pro 2015 15 inch review in 2023. There are a lot of reviews on the internet about the MacBook Pro 2015 15 inches. Praises have been sung about this computer and I'm afraid the pressure got onto me and I craved for this machine honestly. So I pulled the strings and got the MacBook Pro 2015 15 inch and truth be told I'm really satisfied with its performance. Mine is the fully spec up version, which was the top tier at the time of the release. We have an Intel Core i7 processor, which is a quad core processor with a 2.5 GHz clock speed. We also have an integrated AMD Radeon R9 M370X and an Intel Iris Pro for graphics, which makes editing and doing heavy tasks on this machine pretty sustainable. The 16 GB of DDR3 RAM ensures that tasks that require a lot of space are handled efficiently. This is the first time that I am using macOS. It has been rough, especially when trying to scroll down and up through pages, right click and moving files from my Android phone. A lot of googling and round trips to Safari have been helpful, especially in the transition from Windows to Mac OS. There are things that I love about the MacBook Pro 2015 15 inch. First things first is the display. The display is fantastic and it is the best display on a computer that I have ever come across. It can get surprisingly bright and the colors are rich. The funny thing is that since I got this machine, I have enjoyed watching YouTube videos on the MacBook Pro compared to my Samsung phone. The display is a 15.4 inches with an aspect ratio of 2880 by 1800. The other thing I love about this machine is typing on this keyboard is heavenly. The travel space between keys is fantastic and they are very responsive and I love it. MagSafe is such an underrated feature. I now understand why people were furious when it was removed in 2016 MacBooks. The looks of this laptop are still in par with the current trends, but not the humongous bezels. Once you start using this Mac, you'll forget the bezels even exist. The lighting logo at the back of the display is a subtle feature that should be brought back. The speakers are okay, but one can live with them and the battery capacity needs to be changed, especially when you are getting a refurbished one. I am a DaVinci Resolve user, and editing on this machine has been amazingly good, considering I still shoot my content at Full HD. I haven't witnessed any lags. What is annoying are the fans which kick in instantly when I open DaVinci, but that does not slow down the editing process. What you should know before getting the MacBook Pro Retina 2015 in 2023. Apple officially discontinued software support for this machine, which is frustrating because this is still a very powerful machine in 2023 and it can run apps surprisingly amazing and without any lags. Monterey being the last major update but there is a workaround where you can get macOS Ventura running on this machine using OpenCore Legacy. I will leave a link in the description. I love my MacBook Pro 2015 even if it came out almost 8 years ago. It is running perfectly without any troubles even if you install Ventura using OpenCore Legacy. I will buy this machine again and again because it is still a powerful machine and it gets the work done. In 2023, this machine is still a king. And I will ask you all to answer this question. Do you think MacBooks are underrated or overrated? I believe MacBooks are underrated because of the MacBook Pro 2015, which still holds up in 2023 
after being released almost eight years ago and if i have said anything bad or i have forgotten to mention something please feel free to correct me and leave a comment in the comment section below until next time cheers <laughs>